Mars, cold, dry, barren. But what if we could transform it? What if we could turn the red planet into a second Earth? Terraforming Mars sounds like science fiction, but some scientists think it might one day be possible. Let's explore how and what stands in the way. First, the challenge. Mars is small, about half Earth's size. It has almost no magnetic field and only 1% of Earth's atmospheric pressure. Temperatures, often colder than minus 60 degrees Celsius. It can't support liquid water on the surface. It just evaporates or freezes. So, how do we fix that? Step one, warm it up. We'd need to raise the temperature and thicken the atmosphere. One idea, giant orbital mirrors that reflect sunlight onto the surface. Another, release greenhouse gases like CO2 trapped in Martian ice and rocks, or even import gases from other moons. The goal is to trigger a runaway greenhouse effect, like what happened on Venus but controlled. Step two, create air you can breathe. If we warmed Mars enough, plants or algae could be introduced to slowly produce oxygen, but slowly is the key word. It would take centuries to make even a fraction of breathable air. Until then, humans would still need pressure suits or sealed habitats. Step three, liquid water. If the temperature and pressure rise high enough, Mars could keep liquid water on the surface, forming rivers, lakes, maybe even oceans. Sounds promising? Not so fast. Mars lacks a global magnetic field. Without one, its atmosphere is constantly stripped away by solar wind. Any new atmosphere we build could just bleed off into space over time. To fix that, we might need to build a giant artificial magnet in orbit, something NASA has actually proposed. Terraforming Mars isn't impossible, but it's not close either. It would take massive resources, new technology, and hundreds, maybe thousands of years. Still, every step we take toward Mars today might be the first chapter in a very long process. A red world slowly turning blue and green.